Hey my friend, this is Derek and today I'm going to be showing you how to continue uh, continue to build and customize your fan book or your Facebook fan page and uh, by now you should have already set up a fan page and know the reasons why plus also possibly have your vanity name set up but if you haven't done that already uh, there should be a link right below this video to go back and learn how to do that. So with that being said, let's go ahead and move on further as you can see we're here on my page and um, I'm going to show you a few custom tricks to be able to put, um, on, you know, to be able to customize your fan page to help it stand out and help it to be a little bit more unique. So as you can see here, I've got a profile picture and it's the first thing I'm going to talk to you about today because it's the biggest um, benefit to having a fan page or one of the biggest things to help set you apart from everybody else. See, everybody just normally has a... Um, a normal Facebook fan page of 200 by 200 or whatever it is, a little tiny square sometimes of their mug or whatever. But with your with your fan page, you can actually customize the look and the feel of it a little bit further. And for me, what I did to be able to create this was if you have a Mac, you can use this program. If you have it, if you don't, well, I'm not quite sure what you would use, probably Photoshop or um, some other free a program out there today to help you um, obviously customize your own your own picture here but what I did since I have a Mac is I used a program called Keynote and uh, essentially what I did is I just opened up a brand new project and I picked a good resolution a resolution picture of mine uh, just a regular picture of me one that I like to use for marketing just because it's you know just me friendly and it doesn't have any beer bottles or anything like that in there it's just me so uh, with a nice long button, you know, long sleeve button up shirt. So what I did is I cut out a piece that I wanted and then I started adding fun little things that would help identify a little bit differently. Like, for instance, this little um, this little thing here, I just added it to the top of the uh, the picture, as you can see here. And then I got my own, you know, logos and emblems. And and this is important. This is uh, to separate me from everybody else. It just, you know, gives all the other URLs for all my other channels, you know, being YouTube, Facebook and Twitter. Um, and then also, I, I also have this one too. It, this one also I put at the bottom of my picture that helps uh, my viewers to suggest the page to others when they find the information to be valuable that's on the page. So um, you can create your own picture like this, and I strongly suggest it. The size that you want to fit it to is 600 by 200, 600 obviously being the height and 200 being the width. But um, as soon as you get that done, I mean, you you can you can upload this quick little easy picture straight to your profile, and it'll really help it stand out. So that's the first thing that I want to identify today with you to help you customize your fan page.